So first, sort of <clears throat> business ones. Would um, starting with each of you, can you tell me a little bit about what the movie is about? Starting with you, Ashley. The movie Divergent to me is one of those rare films that is about a lot of things and it contains a diverse narrative, yet somehow comes together in a single powerful theme that really emotionally lands. And so when I read the script, I felt um, a deep poignancy about the family setting and uh, Tony Goldwyn and me being parents to these adolescents who are about to go through a really archetypal rite of passage, but then all of a sudden becomes this exceedingly deep odyssey for particularly the female character, Triss, as she goes through these fantastic landscapes, but it's all really about um, I have to belong, and yet I equally have to individuate. And so within all of that, there remains this powerful love, emotional, stuff, but it's action, adventure, it's hugely big, while also being intensely personal. It's a really successful film in ways that are unusual. And Tony, for you? Well, for me, uh, Divergent is it was this odyssey of this uh, girl, Tris Pryor, who um, is forced to choose between that which is familiar and comfortable and safe and uh, that being in, in contrast to this sort of pounding in her psyche of that who she is is somehow different than that. And she feels this compulsion to honor that, that thing inside of her uh, and embodied in this you know, ritual of choosing ceremony of choosing a, a faction and she defects from her family and goes on this adventure um, to, into trying to authenticate herself. Um, and beyond that, it's really, it explores, you know, the, those rites of passage, as Ashley said, of, of facing your fears in order to become oneself. And also then set in the landscape of a, of a, a political environment where, you know, after in a post-apocalyptic world, society's been ordered in this very rigid way where you have to declare that you are one thing, and that's, um, you know, that's, that's in contrast to, what, to human nature. And so that becomes um, something that Ver Veronica you know, explores, I think that's so fascinating and relevant, the way that we have this impulse to want to control or pigeonhole people in ourselves, that that makes us comfortable, and yet human nature is always rebelling against that. Um, tell me a little bit about your character, because you're obviously both of your characters sort of our leaders mm -hmm. in, in Abbey Nation, and um, I know you're also clearly a father in real life. I can uh, do you draw on that when you work as a father, when you know, in, in, in the way you related to Triss? Yeah. Um, well, abnegation is the is the faction dedicated to selflessness and service, and um, the abnegation that Neil Berger created is this sort of Zen-like um, discipline, but very comforting and, and a wholesome sort of world. Um, and as a result of our uh, s dedication to service, we've been entrusted with running the government so that we would avoid a lust for power. Um, and Andrew is one of the leaders of, of that government, which is under threat because this society is actually coming apart at the seams. And um, so, uh, you know, Andrew is trying to hold this all together, and, and Natalie as well, at this moment when his children, and their children defect to different factions. So for me personally, yes, I, I have two daughters who are a bit older than Triss, but are facing that moment themselves of figuring out who they are and how, the, how they enter the real world and what that means for them, and, and experiencing as a parent my desire to protect them and um, help them try and make choices that I think will be good for them, but knowing that I, I can have no, that I need to step back and allow them to lead their own lives. So I really related to Andrew. It was one of the things that really attracted me to doing the project. And Ashley, I was just talking to Shailene and I was thinking when I, when you were cast and when I was watching her, because um, I'd met her before working on this movie with her, and I was remembering you from like Ruby in Paradise and sort of as you and I thought there was sort of a lovely parallel and sort of maybe the perfect person to play her mother. Mm -hmm. um, 
and I'm curious both that from a sort of a creative acting perspective and as sort of a mentor, mm -hmm. what, what, what the experience was like. Working with Shailene for me was really um, sweet and gorgeous and resonant and if I have the audacity to flatter myself. I did feel like I was speaking with myself 15, 20 years ago. I encountered um, a young woman who has the courage of her convictions, is very self-possessed and comfortable in her own skin. Um, Shay is an exceedingly gifted actor. She works with raw, organic, intuitive emotion. She's very unselfconscious in her process. And I uh, felt an instant love for her, frankly. You know, just a really instant affection that goes deeper than just, oh, you're someone who's really cool. I hope we can hang out together. Uh, and our conversations, like, dropped in right away, as, as they do with my very best and most sacred girlfriends. Uh, yeah, because I think both of you have a thing where, you know, I think she's, at a young age, very concerned about sort of what she does with her fame and how she uses it as a platform, you know, and, uh, much like I know you do, and I'm not aware, I'm sure, uh, uh, of, of Tony, your, how you use, you know, uh, what you do beyond you for, for the, the good piece parts of what you can do. Well, Shay has that awareness already, and I came to it in my career later. Now, it was absolutely a part of who I am, and when I first told a family friend that I was gonna come to Hollywood and you know, sort of ditch the Peace Corps in order to be an actor. And he said, well, what's your plan? And I mentioned all the social justice service work I was gonna do while being in acting school. He said, well, are you gonna go save the world? Or are you gonna be an actor? So it was a part of my um, drive, but I didn't actually step into the social justice space um, formally until I was like sort of 10 years into my career. And for, you know, whatever reason, I was in kind of a di dichotomous either or place. And you know, what I see in Shay is that she is already um, integrated. Mm. They're wrapping me up. I don't want you guys to cover day to be any longer, but thank you. I could sit here all day and talk to both of you. <laughs> thank all you. Right, Thanks, Eric. Eric. See you later.